If you strike me down now, I will become more powerful than your leather. Monkey Dragon. Hey YouTubers, it's me, Monkey Dragon here, bringing me the video that I kind of want to do this post video because a lot of people don't know what I'm going to be posting anymore. I don't know why, but a lot of people were wondering what I actually do. And well, anyways, so the point of this video is to tell you guys what I'm planning to post because I've been doing a whole bunch of like informational videos and rumor videos about Black Ops 2. And a lot of people started to think that I was only about Black Ops 2 information. And that's my bad for actually not posting any of the videos, but this video is pretty much going to tell you what I'm going to be posting and how I'm going to be changing my channel around. And the first of all is I'm going to be doing my tactical tips videos again. And pretty much what it is is gameplay like this and either Search and Destroy or TDM or any kind of gameplay. And I'll pretty much reimagine of what the thought process is that I went through. Like, okay, I went here and then I seen this guy or I seen my teammate over here and he died. So I knew the guys were coming up from this way. And pretty much I would tell you my thought process and what I came up with. So that maybe you guys could also not so much do what I do, but to also try to train your mind to maybe have that kind of thought process too to think a little bit more and to maybe plan your enemy's pathways and that's well, my whole thing behind my tactical tips is to help you guys see how I think and maybe help you guys think that way too or maybe think even better or find the flaws in my way of thinking and improve yourself even more my whole goal here is to improve you guys beyond me that's my whole goal or if you guys are ready better than me start your own channel do this <laughs> and then I originally was doing a subscriber Sundays video and I don't know what it is but a lot of people have troubles I don't I don't want to I don't know the way I was about to say it sounds kind of mean but a lot of people are having troubles finding the videos to post the comments so I'm pretty much going to start a list now kind of a new thing where it's for the subscriber Sundays and if someone says hey I want to do do a commentary I'll put your name on a list that I'll start writing up and pretty much I'll just go down the list on whatever and for that week I'll message you on Friday on PSN or YouTube depending on what it is I'll go okay um hey dude you still want to do the do commentary and I'll give them about a day to answer me and then on Saturday I'll look for another person I'll just keep on going down the list and then I'll constantly do that every week you know, just constantly going down the list. I won't re-put someone up at the top, but just in case, you know, he was gone for that weekend or something. This way I won't just cross him out and then he's all the way down at the bottom. I'll just constantly do that over and over again. And then eventually find a person who wants to do it. And that's the way I'll work subscribe Sunday. So it's either message me on PSN or message me on Skype or Facebook or Twitter. Although I'm really not on Facebook or Twitter. I'm on Twitter a lot, but more for, like, informational news for the people that I'm following. But, but anyways. And... Or message me on YouTube, which is the fastest way. Actually, leaving a comment in my videos is the fastest way to, to reach me. Because as soon as it gets posted, it instantly gets sent to my email. And from my email, it instantly gets pushed to my phone. And I instantly receive it no matter where I am. Unless I have, like, no bars whatsoever. Which is usually inside my classrooms. Only in a couple of classrooms. But that's besides the point. Anyways, so pretty much message me and say, hey, I want to do a commentary with you, and I'll put you down a list, and then we'll go from there. And I wanted to start this new feature for you guys, because not everyone wants to do a commentary. And also, if you guys don't know, you can either do do commentary with me, or I'll do a walkthrough. Or not so much a walkthrough, but I'll commentate over your, your gameplay. Yeah, that's pretty much. And also a good way, this is a way for me to shout out your channel too, because if you do win subscriber Sundays, or not even win anymore because I'm changing it now, is if you do do, uh, if you do subscriber Sundays with me, I'll shout out your channel. I'll put a link to your channel in the description. I'll go, oh, go check out this channel. I'll even say it in the video. And so anyways, besides the point, I wanted to start this new thing um, that I kind of came up with, well, I did come up with, and because not everyone has the most amazing gameplay where it's the most amazing thing forever forever and I know what this is and I wanted to start this up and I like to call it uh, twice as bright because it's like the old saying twice as bright half as long and pretty much what it is is it's only one lifespan it can't be multiple lifespans and one life in COD you can send me a message saying dude I got the most amazing like rush multi kills I was like boom 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 kill 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 back and forth back and forth you know what I mean like an amazing kill feed in one life and I don't want it to be like an O game, like you went 40 and O, or a MOBE gameplay or something like that. I want it to be like a one life, maybe like a minute long video, or even a two or three minute long video. Hell, it could be a round of search and destroy. And if it is search and destroy, I want it to just be a round and say like you clutch the whole enemy team. Like that kind of stuff. And it was a really good clutch, you know what I mean? You're like, boom, there's a person, boom, there's a person, boom, there's a person, boom, there's a person. And he just killed them all. It was a really, it was good high action stuff. It was like, oh my goodness, I just did this. You see what I'm saying? 
Because I have a couple gameplays where I was running my bared 50 cal and the enemy team was rushing on my position, just stuns, grenading me, and it was like a whole team because they were I, not really so much of a spawn trap, but they all kept spawning like 20 feet away from me. And boom, boom, triple, triple, getting triples in there, running up on me. Doom, headshot, I got a couple collaterals. It was a really beast life and I was only there for like a minute and 30 seconds. And for the rest of the gameplay, it was all kind of crap. I died, I died, not so much a lot, but I died like mm, nine times during the game during the game and I only got like 30 kills so it wasn't really that most amazing gameplay and the rest of it I maybe got like five six kills of life you know what I mean it wasn't super amazing but for that one life it was freaking amazing there was hardcore action multis freaking collaterals you know what I mean that's that's what I want and what I'll do is if you guys send me a message saying hey I want to do something for that you know just message me and I'll add you as a friend and I'll go into your vault and I'll record it and I'll upload it and I'll put in your YouTube channel if that's what you want and I'll put in your PSN name if that's what you want I don't I don't know just tell me and I'll say hey yeah check out this guy's uh, twice as bright video and the, and everyone will know you know it's a pretty cool looking video and obviously if it's not a really good looking video it's just like you for like a minute getting like a kill here getting kill here and you got like a helicopter and then from that you got this you know what I, mean? I want it to be like a high action kind of video like it doesn't mean that you have to get like 20 kills in a matter of 10 seconds you see what i'm saying i just want it to be like a really cool looking video it could be you got an rpg boom triple kill reloaded it boom triple kill and then you threw a c4 another triple kill or it doesn't have to be like that but you know what i mean i want it to be like oh that was epic because the whole reason of this is because sometimes you get those one moments where you did something amazing but for the rest of the game you did horrible and that's the whole thing behind behind the twice as bright video and that's why I wanted to start doing it because I get some of those moments and not every single gameplay the rest of the gameplay is amazing so I'm gonna start to do that which I think might actually be pretty cool and there's another thing that um a lot of people were asking me if I'm gonna be doing any more tips and tricks for model for three and the whole reason why I stopped doing like the map walkthroughs and I stopped doing like uh, the search and destroy all that stuff is because black ops 2 is literally like a month away and I don't know if you guys still want to see those videos because after, if it's only a month away, I don't know. You guys are probably going to be playing Black Ops to warm up for Black Ops 2 because it's made from the same company. That's what I do. I jump back and forth between the titles to get accustomed to the newer game style of Modern Warfare 3 because Black Ops 2 is going to be newer. But get used to the Black Ops style of how it played. You know what I mean? To get that feel for both games. That's what I'm going to be doing or that's what I've been doing. And... A lot of games are coming out in the next couple of months, so you guys may not be interested in seeing my walkthroughs. And the reason why I think I might start doing it again is for you guys to expect or to expect what I'm going to be doing for Black Ops 2. Is I'm going to be showing you guys where I like to plant the bomb, and if you plant the bomb here, 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 or depending on the side of where the bomb is, you can sit on different parts of the map and watch it from. You don't have to go cross map, although there is some bomb plants where you can do that. And I'll show you some bombs where you can jump on top and do the secret little things where if people don't know how to jump on top, then you can't get it. And now you can do fuse through walls. And there's sound horror parts where you can plant the bomb and then run away and then go into a building and crouch and hide in a corner and then you can listen for the sound of someone picking up the bomb and then you run out and then three seconds later you're right there to see him and then I'll also do ones where if you don't have headsets to where you have a line of sight in the bomb to where it's a place where people don't check because it's a hard place to see but you have a clear line of sight of the bomb and you're pretty covered and I'm also gonna be doing videos like that and then pathways and then rush zones because I've been rushing a lot more in search and I was also going to be doing about stun zones because, as you guys know, I use recon a lot for search and destroy. That is my most favorite perk. And a lot of you guys notice that I'll grab a stun and I'll run up and I'll throw it over a building or I'll throw it here in these weird freaking areas. And then, boom, I painted the whole team because I learned I used the stun enough to know how distance they'll go and how much time it takes for them to stun. And then the, the time that it'll take them to fall to whether the enemies will be in range and then I figure out I have the map in my head and I can pretty much scale it to see okay if I throw it here it'll pretty much flash here it might not get into this corner but it'll probably get to these guys that are over here but if they're hiding behind these build and I just have the image of the map in my head and I'll be able to kind of see where it'll pan out so I'm able to go over a building and get them or aim it here and be like okay if I angle it right there it'll get into this pocket and I'll show you guys where I throw it and where it stuns them and then I was also going to show you guys some little secrets for search, like little little things that I picked up on little parts of the map where if you stand here or stand there, 
that you get a better line of sight on either bombs or rush zones or places that you can hold down for search like good places like if you're taking a bomb where's a good place to stand like right here this is where i stand where i'm defending the bomb is because here i have a very clear advantage i have a lot of cover and it's a great way to just hold this instead of laying down onto the left or hiding behind here you see what i'm saying right here you have perfect cover and on the right side i'll show you a place where if there's a crate where you can actually have a line of sight there and then there's another place over here it pretty much i'll show you all the little places that i hold up either for defending the bomb and then I'll also do zones for if the bomb is dropped, where you can hold the position around that bomb to be able to win. Like those are the kind of things that I'll do for like every single map. Or the main maps that people play in search, because I doubt anyone will play search in downtrend. I never vote for it. But anyways guys, we reached the end of the video. Uh, like the video if you like, subscribe to me if you want to see more of my videos. Um, don't forget to tell your friends about me. And yeah guys, let me know what you think of what you want to see, and if you have any clips or anything that you want me to upload. But anyways, I'm Monkey Dragon. That's all I got. Peace.